investing in academics is regarded as one of the most viable tools to enhance human capital in a society. This is demonstrated by Governor Fayogwai of Enugu State through infrastructure projects at the Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu. Bamindili Ajayi has more on the story. Nigeria is the largest economy in Africa, despite the fact that there are a host of issues that prevent the country from attaining a full potential. While there has been a steady increase in school enrollment, recent survey revealed that lack of adequate resources and decay in school infrastructure contributed to the decline in the quality learning available to citizens. To demonstrate his commitment to ensure the state sustain its academic lead in the country, Governor Ifa Uguay arrived at the Institute of Management Technology to inaugurate the infrastructure project constructed by his administration. Created in 1973 with the aim to develop polytechnic education in Nigeria, IMT has gone through a series of transitional stages due to perceived neglect and decay in infrastructure. The intervention of Governor Uguayim in the 42 project has transformed the face of the institution. After we presented what we had in mind, you prove what a great leader and lover of education you are by the our request was approved by the State Executive Council and directives were given for immediate release of funds. Rector of the institution says the interventions were beyond physical infrastructure with the evidence in the 18 programs that were due for accreditation since 2011, which got full accreditation last two years. With 40 existing programs, they were re-accredited due to improved infrastructure and manpower. See, see, when we came here, we found that many of the projects, sorry, many of the programs were due for the accreditation. And so that can still see them. So what he do? He said, okay, now that you collect what it can cost. We did the first one. The 18 programs, including institutional, institutional accreditation, went through. For the man behind the wheel of the program in the institution, Governor Uguayim expressed the light at the strategy he deployed to transform IMT to its desired stage. Today, as I roll into this environment, I was delighted at its organized ambience with interpolating elegantly finished building structures. This is most welcoming. I represent a radical departure from the past. I am glad and the strategy worked, the financial projections were correct, and the process were judiciously utilized. Some of the projects include, but not limited to, construction of new IMT medical center, construction of exams and records of its buildings, construction of a block of two-story modern classroom building, and construction of a two-story block of staff offices. Bami Deleajayi, TVC News, Enugu.